Hi, young readers. This is your little darling narrator, and I need to let you know a few things. This channel is labeled a kid's channel because I read children's books. There are a few things this channel can no longer do. These things were decided by YouTube, and they are for the protection of kids. First, this channel can no longer receive comments. Also, this channel can no longer send notifications through YouTube, letting you know of new stories being posted. Although this channel cannot receive comments, this channel does have a fan page on Facebook. Now, this fan page allows this channel to post updates about the channel, what's coming up, what's been posted, and things of that nature. Now, we can also receive comments here. So, if you have a comment, go to the fan page on Facebook. Just type in the little darling narrator at the top of the Facebook page in the search text, and there you have it. We'll see it. Hello, young readers, and welcome to Storytime with me, your little darling narrator. I hope you enjoy this channel and that your imagination gets a good workout through the stories read here. Now, if you really enjoy this channel, then I'm inviting you to subscribe to this channel. And if you want to know the moment we post a new story, then go ahead and select the bell. If you like a story that's being read to you, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to smash that like button. Let me know you like a story. That lets me know to keep doing what I'm doing so you can get more stories like it, okay? Now, if you're ready, go ahead, sit back, Relax, and we'll get started. The name of this story is called D.W. Saves the Day by Mark Brown. D.W. and Grandma Thor were going to the park for a picnic. I have the food, said D.W., I told Mrs. Tibble and the twins to meet us at the park, said Grandma Thor. Oh no, thought D.W., not the Tibble twins. When D.W. got to the park, the Tibble twins were nowhere in sight. Arthur was playing baseball. Hey, Arthur, called D.W., want a sandwich? Strike three, Francine shouted. You're out. Arthur turned to look at his sister. Thanks a lot, D.W., yelled Arthur. Then suddenly, D.W. heard screaming and ducks squawking. Hi, D.W., screamed the Tibble twins. Leave those poor ducks alone, said D.W., Soon, the Tibble twins got bored chasing ducks. Let's play florist, said Tommy. They began pulling flowers out of the ground and stomping on plants. D.W. couldn't believe her eyes. The Tibble twins ran to the sandbox. Let's bury D.W., squealed Tommy. No, said Timmy, let's bury the grass. They started to shovel all the sand onto the grass. Stop, D.W. cried. The grass doesn't like that. Time for lunch, called Grandma Thor. Saved by a sandwich, said D.W. I'm hungry, cried Tommy. Me too, cried Timmy. In seconds, food was everywhere. But the Tibble twins couldn't sit still for long. Let's catch butterflies, they shouted. Those poor butterflies, thought D.W. Then D.W. got an idea. Do you guys want to hear a story? 
she called. We love stories, said Tommy. Once upon a time, D.W. began in her sweetest voice, there was a giant called Mother Nature. A real mother, asked Tommy. Oh, yes, said D.W. She was the mother of all the flowers and animals in the whole wide world. She watered her flowers with a giant water can, said D.W. Is that why it rained? asked Timmy. Of course, D.W. said. Now stop interrupting me. So, D.W. continued, Mother Nature took all the little green caterpillars and glued wings on them. To make butterflies? asked Tommy. Yes, D.W. said. Then she touched all the teeny tiny flower buds with her magic wand and turned them into big roses. Everything was beautiful and just right, D.W. explained, until two very naughty boys began to mess with Mother Nature's things. The Tibble Twins gulped. They tore up her flowers, chased her little ducks, and threw trash everywhere. That made her really mad. Uh-oh, said Tommy. Oops, said Timmy. Then what happened, asked the twins. She turned herself into a little spider, said D.W., and grew and grew until she was as big as a brontosaurus. Then she spun a giant web that trapped those little boys. Look, a spider, screamed Tommy. He pointed to a little spider crawling up D.W.'s arm. It's Mother Nature, screamed Timmy. She's after us, cried Tommy. Run for your life, the Tibble twins yelled. D.W. smiled. Hi, Mother Nature, said Arthur. He waved to the spider. We're sorry, Mother Nature, cried the Tibble twins. We promise to be nice to all your stuff from now on. Gee, <laughs> said D.W. I'm a better storyteller than I thought. You dropped something, Arthur, said D.W. I'd pick it up if I were you. Because Mother Nature is always watching. Well, that ends our story. And we got a lot of great takeaways from this story. But our main one, the main one I'd have to say is just being respectful. Not just to each other, but to the environment. And sometimes, you know, with the Tibble twins, they were like, wild children they had the wild child syndrome happening with them and all that means is they had a lot of energy and they were outside to burn a lot of that energy and what you have to try to do is try to think well what can i do that's productive with my energy and what you can do is you can build something you can um, create something. It's a lot you can do that's not so destructive. Like the Tibble Twins, they just had a lot of energy and that energy just went to doing things that was more on the destructive side. So that's my big takeaway from it. And always remember, Mother Nature is always watching. She has a way of really letting you know when you've made her mad. So when you're outside in Mother Nature, be respectful. What does that mean? That means don't just sit up there and litter. Don't throw trash on the ground. Pick your trash up, put it in the trash can. Just be respectful. And Mother Nature will be respectful right back at you. Well, until next time, my young readers, I am your little darling narrator. Out. <laughs>